after the ball is over, after the skein is done, after the die lot's finished, and you are short just one. Many a knitter has made. Full and desperate call, pleading with their local yarn shop, go after that ball. Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to Pen Hook and Needles podcast, episode one thirty nine. It is Tuesday, January twenty seventh, twenty fifteen. Wow. January is flying by. Um, it is. I am Lady Fernico, also known as Marlisha on Ravelry, Plurk, well, sort of on Plurk, Instagram, and just about everywhere else. Is they on Plurk anymore? I don't know. And um, on my writing site says Marlisha or Shadowlight or Shadowlight One. Um, my name is Talia, and I'm also known as Franciscan Gypsy, just about everywhere on the interwebs. Okay, uh, we want to welcome all new and returning viewers. Thank you for joining us. We're glad that you ha- to have you with us and spend some time with us. Uh, grab your tea or your coffee and whatever it is you decide to eat. I have uh, Earl Grey. Earl Grey. Earl Grey. Earl Grey Moonlight. Earl Grey Moonlight. Moonlight. <laughs> Earl Grey Moonlight in my pen hook and needles mug. Um, Please do not spill that on my project. Yes. Um, it's really good. This is I believe this on Karen Fay. Hang on, I'm gonna get my pen and paper. And it's helping me to get rid of my headache, so that's good. What do you? What's in your mug? Um, in my mug. Hold on, I need to slurp what's in my mug. Yeah, I I beg pardon for slurping. We overfilled our cups. I beg no pardon. Yes. She does not know how to either beg or ask for pardon. Okay. This is the amazingly awesome dark rose heart tea. Um, they my the tea place got it in on uh, Monday. I called and they said they had just put it on their shelf. Oh, I'm sorry, Friday. Um, they said they had just put it on their shelf. And here's my PHN mug. And we thank you for all the interest we're getting yes. about the mugs. I have to talk to my husband, to Mr. PHN, and see what we can do. I may have to open a thread to see how many of you are interested so in we can pre-order. so we can do pre-orders because that's probably the best way to do it for mugs and bags or whatever it is you guys are interested in mugs bags of um, mouse pads or whatever mm-hmm. um, so I'll probably start a thread as soon as I talk to my husband about it and see what we're going to do um, to do that um, Ooh, what else are we oh yes homemade sugar cookies with and without frosting mine has frosting I made yesterday and Mom's like, why did you choose the one with the yellow frosty when I dyed some with red? It was pink. It was red. I had some earlier. It was red. It goes awesomely with black tea. Mm-hmm. It melts in your mouth. I love I love sugar cookies. Melts in your mouth, not in your hand? Mm-hmm. Especially homemade sugar cookies. Was that an uh, M&M commercial? Because they don't use that commercial anymore, right? Yeah. Okay. We they actually do kind of melt in your hand. We do want to welcome um, our new members as well, the ones who actually... Um, Signed in for the first time. Signed in. Signed in. Signed up. Became official. Um, we want to welcome Noodle Worm, who is Peggy. It's awesome. Isn't that great? I see this little. I. I it's kind of like an earworm. I, I, no, no, it's a Noodle Worm, and I want, I want, I want a crochet toy Noodle Worm. Yes. So she's gonna have to tell us what it looks like. Okay. Um, welcome Big Daddy Sam, 1965, who's Samuel. Oh, I thought you joined last week. I guess you didn't. Mm-mm. I uh, want to wish w- welcome Soul Stitches, who is Margaret. Welcome, Margaret. We want to welcome Kimmy, Kimmy's Knits, who is Kim, and she's a podcaster. I think she's Knit Spin Fiber. Oh, um, okay. And she's. I've heard of her then. Uh, I believe she's um, one of our um, friends across the um, ocean, across pond. the pond. She uh, she's very talented, Ooh. and she's already been active. She's quite talented both with knitting and crocheting. I dropped part of my cookie. Mm-hmm. So you might want to check her out. I do believe it's Knit Spin. Uh, fiber, and I'll, I'll have to check that out uh, to make sure. I uh, want to welcome Blueberry Chick, who is Kay. Welcome, Kay. want to welcome Crochet Knit 2, who is Emily. 
Uh, Becca Poo, who I am assuming is Rebecca. I don't have a name. Um, it might not be, but it's a cute name. Remember, Molly Munch wasn't. Yes, I know. But now I'm hoping Becca Poo will tell me. <laughs> um, now you ruined it all. Um, and then uh, um, Green, Bear, Green Bear Knits, who is Jilly. I think it's Jilly, not Gilly. I think um, before G before I is a soft G, so. I think it's G. That's for E, except after E. Well, no, that's for C's. No, G, G before I's and E's I think you're right, though, Jilly. I think it's Jilly. I think it's for Jillian, probably. Yeah. Um, but uh, we want to welcome Jilly. And all of you who are uh, who have returned as well, and for all those of you who are in the shadows still, we'd love to have we you come out into the light and join us. Join us for the sweater along and all the things that we do that are fun, or just to put things in the show off thread and talk on the on the podcast threads. Mm -hmm. So please do uh, join us if you'd like. We want to, um, yeah, we want to get started with the sweater along. Wow, yeah. that was abrupt, wasn't it? Yes, it really was. <laughs> I'm well, sorry. I'm not. I've, I've been finding a headache for about three quarters of the day, so um, I, p I might be a little bit fuzzy headed. Well, hopefully some of that caffeine will help. It is. We've been fighting some kind of bug all weekend. My husband had it all weekend, and I'm hoping that I'm not picking it up. So, all right, go ahead. I keep hearing my heartbeat in my ear. Oh, I hate that. Because then you can't quite focus. Anyway, um, the sweater long is going strong. I am not caught up in the thread. I am. Um, I need to be. So I had a nice conversation with Heidi. <laughs> she reminded me of the shawl along. Oh, okay. Well, that's not into. Well, we don't do a shawl. Along. No, her shawl along. Her shawl along. Oh, her shawl. She has along. a shawl along going on. Not until February. Oh, okay. But it all stemmed off the um, fact that we are yarn heathens. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Well, it's okay, Heidi. We forgive you for your um, yarn snobbery. <laughs> <laughs> She's not sure what you call she it. She thought it was funny. She laughed at me. <laughs> she has a good sense of humor. Um, what was I going to say? Anyway, sweater along. Mm -hmm. Yes, that was where this was going. Um, it's going strong. Um, it has been running since January 1st. It will be running until March 31st. Um Whips and FOs are eligible for prizes. All you have to do is be a member of the group and post in the thread. Uh, Don't forget, we have I was about to say, yeah. <laughs> we have a co-host, uh, Kathy of the Knitner Podcast, Kathy913. Wonderful um, Kathy. Yes. I'm not sure she, if she's taking, another, taking a little bit of break or if I she... Don't, she's, uh, I think she's busy right now, so mm -hmm. I, I'm not sure. She's not quite as consistent, but she's well worth watching. Yes, she is. Um, I think she does it about every two or three weeks now, but I don't think she's on a particular schedule. No, I think she does it when she's able to. Yeah. Um, but but she's well worth watching. Yeah, her rules are slightly different than ours. Uh, she has a limit on baby sweaters, and she... Uh, Did she say people sweaters, too? I don't remember. No, only a limit on the babies. Yeah. Um, just because they're... A little faster to make, right. and she doesn't allow whips. We allow uh, whips. We don't care as long as it's for a person. You we can make care. twenty million baby sweaters. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. But no dolly sweaters and no doggy sweaters. No, it has to be people sweaters. people sweaters. Um. Uh, what was I going to say? So, I need another cup of tea. Sugar is helping me to feel better. Sorry. <laughs> but okay. We do you you know what our I'll go through the prizes while she's sipping. Yeah, because I, I don't have I don't have them in my notes. I'm going to put them there. The prizes that we have, we have some generous donations this time. Indeed, we have two skeins of Mountain Fusion yarn, and I think it's actually Tootin. Not that's not the right spelling. Anyway, in the moonlight colorway. Yeah, I've noticed you do misspell things on your show notes. One hundred and two. No, it's just my fingers do. One hundred and two yards bulky weight yarn Aren't donated your by Marie. Attached to you? Donated by Maria Wilhelmina, who is Mar Mariette. Thank you, Mariette. Yes. We have a skein of Malagrigo. <laughs> what was it Denise was saying? Oh, um, um, Malabringo? Malabringo. Yeah. I wonder if it's just the way it's the, heard. It I might be just the accent. Well, I, I think Tilly said something about it either in her notes or in her um, podcast. I don't remember, but it was really funny. It was cute. Malabrigo. Um, one skein of Malibu Go Worsted, 216 yards in the peach colorway, donated by Bella Socks, who's Eileen. We have two skeins of Blue Sky Cotton, which had no color name. It was like a creative no number even. 
uh, looks like it's sky blue. Two of them, 150 yards each, by donated also by Bella Sox, who's Eileen. Two skeins of blue sky cotton in a greenish yellow colorway. Again, no name. Um, the yarn with no name? Yes, the yarn with no name. 150 yards each. Do again, do do do. donated by Eileen, who's Bella Sox. You need to be quiet while I do this. What? <laughs> <laughs> I do not care. Tea. I do not care. Speaking. Words. Precious. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Anyway, it's, it's okay. Wrong. We it's also have we also side. have um, one skein of wild hair pinnacle fingering in the Renaissance colorway, which is from my. Th stash. And that, that's truly lovely yarn. It's beautiful. That's, I I made um, a shawl for my mom out of that. Uh, other skeins of that. This is full skein. Yeah, she's not giving you her leftovers. Um, a very generous gift. All these are generous, but this is uh, a generous gift uh, certificate. Oh my gosh! By ten hours or less, who is our very own George? Very own George. To ten hours or less dot com or to ten hours or less Rav store, um, twenty five dollars. That is um, gift an certificate. Awesome. And he has buttons. Yes, he in his shop now, and they're a huge variety of colors. I went and took a look. Yes, exactly. and he, if you follow the link on the bottom of our podcast thread, it brings you to the one inch size. Mm -hmm. If you go back to his main site, he has multiple sizes, mm -hmm. multiple colors. Some are wool, and some, I think, are washable suede. Are they? Okay. I okay. didn't take quite that close a look, but I was amazed by the variety available. But the gift certificate covers patterns and buttons. Okay. Uh, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Well, I believe whatever's in his shop. Um, and he will PM the winner directly to provide the gift certificate and the options for the redemption. So. And, hey, you know, a sweater along is going on yeah. right now. Buttons yeah. are really... Uh, yeah, well... It'll be after the sweater along, but that doesn't matter. I mean, they're going to have sweaters to finish, right? Exactly. And that's what other, what better time. And then we were contacted by another one of our members, Cece Nitz, who is Carolyn, who is also, oh, th that another very generous donation uh, of, um, in a form of a $15 e-book, nice. down downloadable through Ravelry, or if the winner of the prize would prefer to have three $5 individual patterns. Thank you, Carolyn. Thank you so much, Carolyn. That's wonderful. Um, and then we have a couple of other potential... Um, How do you tell if it's pronounced Caroline or Caroline? I think Caroline is I and E. Oh, and she's a Y? This is Y. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, but uh, we also have a couple of other potentials in the works that we're working out the um, logistics for. And we want to thank them. They know who they are. We will uh, tell you what comes of that, if anything. Um, so thank you very much, all of you who have donated patterns to us. We really appreciate it. it we, Like I said, we could not have the awesome prizes for our cows that we do if it weren't for you. Okay. Oh, and I want to take this time. I was going to put up a thread, and I'll probably do it anyway. We did get some of the prizes out, four of them. Um, Sissy, Knit, uh, Sissy, Knit, uh, Sissy Knit Crochet's magazine and um, three or four of the prizes for the last cow out, but we still have several that have to go out. We're waiting to find a box. For one. For one of them. And then we will, because we had, like I said, we had Taya's birthday, then she worked. We've had snow, my birthday's this week. So we're going to be busy. This is a bit of an odd month. We will get it out. We try not to be this long normally, mm -hmm. but we will try to get and it out. And part of the problem possible. is I work every other weekend, mm -hmm. so it kind of limits us. Yeah. But it will be, we hope to have it out no later than the first month. Yeah. The first month. The first week of February. Mm -hmm. Well, I know I have to send something off the first week of February for my swap mm -hmm. partner, mm -hmm. so, so I have to go to the we beg, post office anyway. We beg both your indulgence and your pardon, so please forgive us for taking so long. Okay. Um, rough draft? Indeed. I have one, two, three, four. I have one, two, three, four, five. I have six. How in the heck did you beat me? I think I've been pretty much monogamous. <laughs> monogamous. She can't. Did you um uh, when when um Denise was on her podcast last, she meant to say monogamous and she said monotonous. I'm not sure if I saw that one. Because she was. I guess said, I did. She I was talking about how she was talking about how this. She was hoping this wasn't too boring because. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She had just one project and she was afraid to be a bit. Uh, but because she was being monog, she meant to say monogamous. She said because she's being monotonous. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I saw that, yeah. that's awesome. I saw that. But I, I did find out, because I was trying, I was going to go see Denise's, but I saw Tilly Trout's most recent one mm -hmm. with her husband's F.O., and then I realized I had not seen the one before. So uh. I went back and saw that one, too. Um, and I'm, I am caught up on Denise, so, okay. Uh, all right, I guess I start. Indeed. I'm going to start with my pie-in-the-sky shawl. 
and I started. It's this is by um, from the key lime pie pro shawl pro pattern by Sarah Peterson. Um, it's called on something. It's living in my Minnie's my bag autism awareness puzzle pieces bag sweater size. There's my hook. And I've started the ripples. I may pull the ripples out if I think I've done miscounted, but I think I'm okay. I think I'm going to change to different project. Uh, you can see here that I'm on the ripples here. I'm on the second row of the ripples, of the first set of the ripples. And the... Uh, it has grown, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. I'm, I'm, I'm having fun with this. The problem with me working on some of this stuff is I have to have good light. And I don't and have do good light in, in my house. So, in especially because this house is an old house. This and house we don't. This is a very, very, very old house. Do you see what I had to put up with? <laughs> with music? Oh no! Your life is just horrible. You're giving me a headache. Do I have a headache? Yes, I don't need a worse one. Anyway, um, it, we don't have any fixtures in the front room in the ceilings, mm -hmm. so we don't have really good lighting in there. It'd be too difficult to place fixtures. because we have we have um, not ceramic. We have. Um, What's that word? <laughs> Words. Um, I can't. Plas it's plaster. It's plaster. I don't know why I was thinking ceramic. It's it's plaster. It's I hope our ceiling's not made out of ceramic. Yeah, that might be a little bit. Where's my loop? I don't know. Oh, there it is. Okay, and this yarn was gifted to me. Um, well, I won the kind of turquoisey color, which ah, is uh, heritage okay. silk, and the other one um, is. This uh, variegated I want um, was gift gifted to me by Turbo Knitter, who is Kenneth. Um, and I hope Kenneth is feeling better. Yes. We hope you feel better, Kenneth. We're praying for you. Okay. So that's this. Oh, speaking of Denise a little earlier, Denise, stick around for the end of the podcast. And anyone else who might be interested, Allison. Allison. Um. We have a semi tutorial type thing. Very many. Uh, very many. It's not even how to do a stitch. Denise was asking how about tensioning. about tensioning because she's just started to crochet. So we show a little bit about how mom holds her yarn and her crochet hook and about how I hold my yarn and my crochet hook. Just it's a mini. Yeah. We haven't nice. done anything like that before. Just figured it might help. It so might be a little sh a little shaky and a little bit. It's the first time we've done anything like that. A little that, bit so. disjointed. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, so do you want me to do one more and then you mm -hmm. go? Okay. Um, my What's in the Square Blanket, which actually didn't get a whole lot of love this week. No um, love? A little bit of love. Not a whole lot. Mm -hmm. But I did start a different color log. Ah. Ah. <laughs> it's getting big. Um, so you can see I've started the purple here. Um, I think I was on, I think I was on this color last podcast, and I had like a couple rows to go. So I'm on this color now. So I didn't do as much as I have done in the past. It's taking me longer to do rows, um, on this right now because the square is getting bigger. Because unlike the little ones where you just have squares that are the same size. Mm -hmm. This takes up more and more yarn as you go, get bigger. So, which is fine. It's, it is what it is. There, like that. So, I'm having fun with it. Various yarns, um, mostly acrylic or superwash. Although if I have enough left over from the mm -hmm. yarn I'm using for another project that Heidi gave me, I'll put that in here too if I can. Or maybe the center square of and the new one, one I make. There we go. And that is that. And this is in my Vera Bradley bag. That my mom got me a few Christmases ago, which I'm not going to. Well, I will show you. Just Vera. don't knock over your tea. My Vera Bradley bag. Okay, your turn. Okay, so um, the first one I'm going to show you is one I'm not going to show you. Ah. Sorry, Highly Avalanche. Um, toy design hidden in here. Pretty bag. Uh. Kissing bunnies. Yes, kissing That's bunnies. why there are so many of them. Um, but it's, it's a plover bird bag. Her sweater size. And that's all you get to see because this is in the works. She won't even show you the colors because she's mean. Nope. See, George, she won't even show you the colors. No, Even George. after you asked her, she wouldn't. No colors for George. 
Our very own George? Our very own George. Let's see. It's a color! And that's all you can see. Only that color. <laughs> only that color. No more colors. <laughs> and that's only because you asked, George. You only get one color. Only one color, George. Davina has seen the sketch for the next one, and she wants one. Yes. Not, not, not this one. Not this no, one. No, not, not this one, but for the one after that. Right. Um, okay. My next one is in my little baby silver bird black sheet bag. Yes, black sheet bag. Yeah, I like this bag. It's cute. And this is my Christmas stocking project from the Logan's Holiday Stocking. And I think it was, I don't know if it was Blondie, Nevada, or if it was, um, oh, I can't think of her name now. I know who she is. I can see her avatar. What's her avatar? Uh, with buttons. I think it was with buttons. Oh, I she think. changed her avatar. I think it's with buttons. Somebody asked me about the heel. I have turned for the heel on this thing, if you can call that. You can see, I think I'm doing it right. It's kind of caught with the color changes here. Well, that's not really turning a heel, that's adding a spot to add the heel. Turning yeah. a heel is slightly different. Well, I don't know what it's called for crocheting. So, um, they've separated for the heels, what they called it. Yeah, that makes more sense. See, it looks like a mouth. <laughs> I guess I'm going to pick up the stitches. Nom, nom. No, but you're going to just have a hole there. Yeah. But it leaves a little bit of a space. I don't know if I missed a chain. I, I counted the number of stitches, but it, well, I can just I can just stitch that shut. But yeah, because you have that kind of space you have to worry about when you do a gusset too. Okay. Well, so that's where I'm at. I did several rows, and I got to the heel, the separating for the heel, and I'm starting the second row, I think, after the heel. So we'll see if it works. I'm a little apprehensive about it, but forward, ever forward. Um, and that was my phone, I think. Um, I'm using Knit Picks Bravo Worsted in the cream, the forest green and the cherry red, I think. And I, the hook is a an eye hook. Why does it say H? This must be <laughs> that's probably because it is an H hook. Wait a minute. Hopefully you haven't switched hooks after. Oh, no, here's my hook for this one. Oh, this must be for your blanket. That's for my blanket. Okay, so it's an H hook. I lied. Okay. Wait, so that's an I hook. Wait, this is an H hook. That's an H hook. This is an H hook. My blanket is an I hook. Yes. Somebody was laughing that we they were they were excited they were amused by the bags flying through the air. <laughs> the greatest of these. Yes. Yes. I we aim to please. Excuse me, I'm out of frame. Your turn time. Okay. How's my turn over? Okay, I guess it is. Um, next one. I guess it'll be the swap gift. Um, the TARDIS bag pattern by Jamie Eads Mareye. I don't know. I'll link it. Um, it's a G hook that I'm using. And, um... Throne One Pound in the colorway Royalty, Red Heart Super Saver in the colorway Black, and I'm using Hobby Lobby White. It's a free pattern. Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. So, Hobby Lobby. the windows are all done. Um, I need to hurry up and pick up the paste. This has basically been my project I've focused on um, this week. Um, I'm just going to fold it in half. I'm not going to bother... Um, I'm putting the sides together. It's very heavy. Yes, it's so. It's I'm very, bad. I'm very close to being at the end of the actual bag. Then it's doing the flap, seaming it together, and doing the strap. I really need to focus on this this weekend because uh, February is when I need to send this out. Um, I have everything else except for the edible thing for my swap person, and this is for the nerdy swaps superheroes versus villains. A couple of people have already got some in their packages. Um, it took me a while to decide what I was making my person, and then this is not a small project. I mean, look at the miles of crochet there. Looks like a dress. The That's sleeves. a very awkward dress. A little waist in the dress. Yeah. Dress. So, she's giving her swappy a, a, a dress front. Um... Someone marked this as a hard pattern. It's not a hard pattern at all. It's 
just half double crochet. You don't even have to decrease or increase. It's half double crochet, it's back and front post double crochet, and some color changes. Nothing complicated. Um, Maybe a little fiddly with some of the way well, with the way you get out here, but yeah, but it's, it's not hard. It's not hard. Um, the only reason why I stopped doing it during the podcast is because I was at a point where I needed to glance at the pattern, and my pattern is on the same Kindle my show notes are on. I didn't feel like flipping back and forth. Um, and it's a new section that's a little different than what I've been working since I'm not doing the white anymore. I'm going into black, I think. So I wanted to make sure I paid a little bit more attention there. Okay, um, my ocean drift in my Cloverbird teapot bag. I love this bag, my teapot bag, the large sweater size bag. I've got my ocean drift, and you will notice that I have made reverse progress. I pulled everything out. Oh, I did not hear about this because it was too big. Oh no. And I, I was counting the stitches, and I had about 10 stitches more, and I don't really know why I had 10 stitches more. And then when I pulled it out, I realized I wasn't doing the stitch correctly anyway. Oh, no. So, no biggie. I'm, I made more progress again. My husband looked at me and said, but you were so far. I said, well, I'd rather have it fit. Amy from Knitting in Circles said she's never regretted pulling out a project. And starting over. Hang on, I'm going to put us on pause. Dad, tell me. Okay, now back to what you were saying about Amy. My husband just came home. I want to make sure I said hi. Um, Amy from Knitting in Circles has always said on her podcast that she's never regretted ripping back and starting over, or ripping back to a point starting over. She has regretted not doing that. If if the, the fit would be wrong or whatever. So I don't feel badly about ripping this back. Um, it does put me a little behind, but I'm not really on a schedule. I'm doing it for the sweater along. I would like to finish it before the sweater along is over, but if I don't, that's okay. Uh, I have plenty of time before, you know, Maryland or Shenandoah or whenever I decide to wear it. Because this is very heavy. It might be Shenandoah. Right. It might be better for Shenandoah anyway. Yeah. So and Generally, I don't aim to have stuff for Maryland. Actually, you know, part of it is because I've never been to Maryland. No. Yeah. I need to find the dates for that so I can ask off for work. Maryland is always the first Monday in May. I mean, the first weekend of May. Mm-hmm. But, um, and I will probably wear a shawl there. Mm-hmm. Yes, Heidi, for your shawl along. <laughs> I will find a shawl because I want to wear a shawl. I actually have a shawl queued. I um, have And a I hadn't realized about her shawl along. I have a couple of shawls. I have the one she gifted me, and I have another one that um, we will discuss later. But this is, um, I do love this project. It's just I wanted to get started on the right foot. And what happened was, the reason I pulled out in the first place was I wasn't sure about the, se- the seaming it together to go into the yoke. And, when, and then when I pulled it out and started counting, I realized I was off count. So it was probably a blessing in disguise. So, yeah, I did, I reversed progress and started over again. So I'm not upset by it, really. There you go. Clang back! Okay. Keep waffling. I have four stitches. Waffling? I do not waffle, in fact. Waffle. Do not, in fact, waffle. You don't waffle ever? Never. Never, ever? Never. There. Thank you for waffling. I never waffle. Um, okay, so this is the um, Thor, the Diana's Hat Pattern by Joanna Johnson. Um, okay, let me see if I remember, because I never write down on my show notes. I keep saying I'll update and I don't. Cascade Heritage Paints in the Thunder colorway. Mm-hmm. It is Thunder, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And I realized Thunder could have a color, but it is Thunder. Yes. Hence why I call the project Thor, because he's the Thunder God. Or according to the very PC uh, uh, cartoon I watched at one point, it w- he was the um, Lord of Thunder or the <laughs> Prince of Thunder or something like that. Are they actually deigned to be male? Yes, they did date. Oh, okay. No, no, pl- no, no inclusive language. No. Okay. Well, because he was a male care. He's a male character. Although I think the most recent Thor incarnation is female. So figure. Yes. <laughs> um. So let me just. But it, it it was like wow. You can't even call him. You know, he's a Norse god. God. You can't even deign to do that. Alrighty, guys. Um. 
PC is at its finest. But here it is. The flu never shows up as nicely as it does when we're going shopping in the com in the Martins. I was or outside or whatever. Yeah, it's got it's pops showing up a little bit, but it has this gorgeous pops of blue. This whole this whole line in the middle. You've got the raised this raised part right here, and then that middle section is blue. Um, it's just pops it's really pretty everywhere. It's like a stormy sky. Yeah, yeah it shows a little bit. It shows a little bit, but it has to have direct light on it to really show the prettiness of this yarn. Um, we had the same problem when I made the shawl out of it. Yes, you did. Although the lighting's better here than it mm -hmm. was then. We had it in here a couple of times. Did we? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, hat's making good progress. Um, I mean, this is one that it takes a while. Unless I really focus on it, um, it takes a while. This is something I enjoy having as my first project. I don't really have a time limit on it. Nah, I just sense. work on it when I want to. And this has been the case with all the Diana's hats that I've made. And I've made a total of, let's see... I made Davina two, I made myself two, and this is yours. Mm -hmm. So, this is my fifth one. Is that all? I guess it is all. Wait, I did make Davina two, didn't I? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because the other one was made by, um, Brittany. No, I can't remember if I made her two, though. I made, maybe I only made her one. I thought you made her two. I don't know. It's on your project. I made her two Zuzus. Maybe that's what it was. I don't remember. Um, I claim amnesia. Mm-hmm. I can't remember. I made to be a lot of things. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Um, my next project is in my, and it is my bag, angel bag, or sweater size. And I did do some progress on this. Not a whole lot. Um, I think I did make Demina too. Keep losing my hook. No, it pops me. Keep talking about um, it. I intend to. I keep hooking my... I keep pinning my hook instead of my project. Diana. I did a couple of rows on this, and I can't oh, I did make Davina too. I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, well I just had to see. Okay, I, I did make Davina too. Okay, now this is how far I've got. I really like how that looks. And I've got a few more repeats of this pattern before I go to the next section. It's got bobblies. It's got bobblies. So I, I like I like this pattern. I really do. And I thank everybody who gave me suggestions for colors. I was surprised at how many said red. Um, I really want to do it in green, but red is good, too. I think it'll look really nice in baby blue. I don't like baby blue. I mean, I, d I like blue, but I'm not a big baby blue fan. Um, I like things a little more bright. Mm -hmm. Well, but federal powder, blue. Powder is pretty. Federal blue would be pretty. That, that blue that I gave you with the TARDIS. Mm -hmm. would look really pretty on this. And you see, I think that might be too dark. I don't. Um, I mean, I want the stitch definition to go through. Because I love how the stitch definition comes out. And I think if, if you do it too dark, it'll well, drown the stitch definition. I understand that. But I don't think that that one's too dark. Mm -hmm. um, I'd like kind of a, not washed out, but a muted forest green. Mm -hmm. or, or federal or slate blue would be pretty in this. And definitely a red would be pretty in this. I may be making several of these. Mm -hmm. And and I know that they're supposed to go in the gift box, but I don't think so. Maybe. We'll see. You have problems putting things in a gift box. But I like this. <laughs> and I give people lots of things. Um, Just as long as it's not a toy or something that you like. <laughs> well, why should I give them something I like? And I give away toys that I like. And besides, mm -hmm. Tanya said I can keep what I want. Oh, as long as Tanya gives Tanya you permission. Said I could. So there. I mean, I I I, I didn't know Tanya gave you permission. She did. If, if and I she know said that, that you need to drink Thai tea too, because you're a heathen. Oh, well, you well, know, Tanya was. Tanya says that. She does say it. Tanya, Tanya, love you, Tanya. we love Tanya. <laughs> Tanya is my enabler for knitting, um, for knitting knitting, uh, projects. Yes. And so she gets lots of flack love. Knitting <laughs> versus crochet. Yes. Um, does Tanya crochet? I can't remember. I. I think she might do a little bit. I'm Can't not sure. Remember. I don't know. I don't know. What okay. Um, so, I guess it's time for my... How many more do one. you... Oh, wait, did I have one left? Too. Um, in my... And I'm thinking I might have to move this to the um, bag that you gave me with the kitties pretty mm -hmm. soon. I'm a little concerned about that, though, because it's got a zipper, and this yarn tends to be a little splitty. 
Just put a little something on top, like a. You know, well, I'm not worried about that part. I'm worried about when I'm trailing the yarn out. Oh. Because mm -hmm. this is a very mm -hmm. easily split yarn. Oh, is that your sweater? Okay. Yeah, this is. So I'm not sure that any other yarn would be fine, but this one unravels so easily that it might not be a good choice for that bag. Um, Maybe you should put that in your Nightwing bag. Nightwing bag smaller than this bag. Maybe your back row bag? Back, back row bag has the blanket. Mm -hmm. What I might have to do is move the design out of the bunnies, which is a little bigger than this one, and maybe move that into the kitties bag. Mm -hmm. Or into this one. So let's put it in your Marilyn bag. Or not your Marilyn, your Shenandoah bag. Your Ravelry bag. It doesn't close. Oh, uh, well. You're going to be so particular about I'm it. I'm very particular about it. She's a, she's a bag snob. I am. I prefer to have my bag closed. Bag. Snobby bag. So, I did a grand total of two rows on the Fisherman's Cardigan, um, which is the Sarah Pattern by Jennifer Hagen. I'm using Barocco Comfort Chunky in the Barley colorway. Um, I... Hold on. There you go. I was about to shout out Darren to give me a hand with that. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, know, I, I almost cried when Tilly said she was going to tear out that sweater. It's gorgeous. She said it was six charts per row. Oh, yeah. It's so lovely. It's though. beautiful. And, and you saw that she didn't tear it out. I didn't. The most recent one, she said she didn't tear it out. She oh, showed it. Class, yeah. Uh, no. Because I, I, I did well, it. I, you know why? Because I saw the... the you saw the reverse order. I saw the reverse order, yeah. Yeah, I... Uh, I did a cry protest when she said she was going to tear that out. That was it's beautiful. It's so gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Um, this one has three charts per row. Um, so, ah! Yarn front down. Front back. Project and down. The front, front back and the two yeah. fronts in the back. Is that how the, pa the... No, all three are in the front, the charts. There's no chart for the back? No, back you just... Uh, Knit the knits and purl the pearls. Okay. See, there's no pattern in that. Oh, okay. Um, the back rarely has a pattern. The back's easier to re your No, I meant this and this oh. and that. Oh! Oh, I misunderstood you. I think you meant the back of the project. No. Yes, um, the back panel has a chart, and the right front right and the left front have yeah. charts. That's what I was asking you said it poorly. <laughs> not in fact. <coughs> I said it. So with the information available, I said it properly. Bonk. Bonk. Yesterday, um, I will manage you. I realized I have barely done any knitting for the knitting podcast. That uh, I had done all crocheting, and I was like, oh, I probably should do some knitting. Or knitting people are going to think I don't knit anymore. So I pulled this out and did a grand total of two rows. It was a nice change. I was getting kind of sick of my swap project because I've been working on it so consistently. I can't wait till I... And it's very basic except for the yeah, color work. I can't wait till I can just work on whatever and not have to feel pressured to get something done on time. I warned you. I really, really want my swap uh, <laughs> package. That's it's a, all about her. I, that's really what it is. I want my swap package. So I couldn't turn down uh, the possibility to get something Batman or Nightwing. Um... Out of that, like the Joker, Flash, or something. So there we go. Oh, speaking of that stuff like that, did you hear on Tilly's podcast that it's not just teapot and coffee pot cozies, but mug cozies? Mm -hmm. I'm excited about that. Okay, because my teapots don't have handles in the right place. There we go. That is gorgeous. I love. This. I had to. I think it's 17 inches. I had to go to or 15 and a half or something like that. I have to look at the thing again. It looks like you're about 12, maybe. 11. Yeah, I know I'm not anywhere close to where I need to be. So. Yep, it's been making progress. Bottom up, right? Yes, it's bottom up. Um, that's flat. No, it's. Well, it's. Uh, yeah, it's flat, but it's. Uh, yeah, because it's a cardigan. You don't do cardigans in the round unless you're going to steak. I, I shudder when I hear steak. And I have a crochet, too. I found that out. I just don't know how that works in crochet. Well, I, have, I, have a, I have a video. I have a class that I got from Crochet Me um, that talks about steaking. 
for and it's crochet. not uh, a uh, what's it called um, where you are basically doing knit stitches and purl stitches it's not that kind of crochet um, what do you mean? what's that called you actually ha leave the stitches on the hook oh you're talking about Tunisian yeah I don't know I have to look because it would make sense to me if it was Tunisian well they didn't specify Tunisian so you know but I'm not sure how it works. I don't know how it for works. crochet because you it's, you cut crochet and it's like and it's all dead. Over the place. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. I have a cute little owl bag. Davina gave me this for Christmas along with my owl with Olaf, my owl, who's up on the shelf watching the podcast. This is the medium sized plover plover bag. <laughs> plover bird bag. My owl bag. And this is a project that was not on my hook last week. And Heidi, when she heard about it, <laughs> I thought she was going to faint. <laughs> but um, <laughs> Heidi, I told Heidi that, yes, I am a yarn heathen. I am using wool yarn. This is Heidi's undead yarn in the um, gargoyle colorway that I've been waiting forever for her to stock again. And this is in the werewolf base, which is her DK. I love the yarn on her uh, DK. And I said, Heidi, when I got it, I took it out of the bag and everything, and it said, I'm an oops. So it is an oops. This is, oopsies, well, oops, this is Wildberry, Wildberry's head, okay. And he does have the black in the eyes, you just can't see it with the dark blue. Mm -hmm. I can't, I'm not really... And then I, this is the second part, I think it's the part that's the body before the bum. So the upper yeah, body. the upper body. And I really think it's gonna be such a cute little bunny, I think. I think so too. Um and this will be one she keeps. I'm gonna keep this one. The next one I make will probably go in the gift box. But this is Heidi's yarn and I really like the way it's turning out and I want it. And I'm keeping it. Because it's cute. <laughs> so even without its ears and its facial expression, I think it's cute. So um I got the yarn um, <coughs> with some of my Christmas money when Heidi restocked, and I may have to go back and get the other one if it's still there later on, if I get money for my birthday, but I have no guarantee that it won't become another oops. <laughs> 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 um, so yeah, it's, I'm really, I love this pattern. This is Franciscan Gypsy Designs and um, my pattern. Ty's pattern, and I really love it. So the sale has ended for oops, but um, still something I did not know... Um, when we had podcasted last time was the same day we podcasted uh, the um, Love Knitting had accepted the pattern so now people in Europe in the EU can um, buy. I thought you mentioned that last week. No, it was, I did a, an extra blog post mm -hmm. related to mm -hmm. it because it didn't happen or I didn't see it until after we had podcasted. Excuse me. <laughs> Did you need me to pause? No, I just forgot to put my hook back. Oh. <laughs> it, it fell out of my project again. So, um, Oopsie um, is now able to be bought not only by people in the U.S., but also by people in the EU. Okay, I am back. All right. Um, so, um, yay for Oopsie being available everywhere. All of them are available everywhere yes. now. There we go. He, got, he had the shortest waiting time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are all done with FOs. Um, royalties. I'm not FOs. Royalties. No FOs? I have no FOs. Okay. Oh, you have FOs. I do not, in fact. Oh, okay. No FOs today. So, no FOs royalties. for you. Royalties. I have five. I just have one, so go ahead. Mm -hmm. I actually have one and a half if you want. So, the first one yeah. I am wearing. There is actually a T-shirt. T-shirt? Everyone knows my... Um, Ravelry Avatar is Obsession. Batman Knitting. Obsession. So, when there was an, an ad on Ravelry for this shop that had the dark knit. Had to have it. Yes, because it's lace weight. He's doing it for his parents' grave. grave. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a card. It's a comic reference. Um, was it? It was in a. It was someone made a cartoon. Yeah. And yeah. it's actually on my locker at work. Um, for a long time, it was on your door. It's on my door too. Yeah. So. I have the shirt, and then they sent with it, this is the their Etsy shop, hey that's super, it basically they just do things with superhero puns, look, Bruce is even hold Batman I mean, is even holding, um, 
the knitting needles right. Well, if it's Batman, he does things correctly or not at all. But, you know, uh, typically when you see people knitting, um, when something designed by someone who's not a knitter and they show someone knitting, they hold it like this. Uh, like they're about to, I don't know, beat drums or something. <laughs> I wonder how Dan holds his knitting needles. I mean, he showed us once, but he holds it. Does he hold it like his drumsticks, or does he hold? No, you have to. You the only way you can knit is. I want to know. I'm gonna have to watch his hands. I want to know. You're busy. I want to know. Okay, Dan, we need to see your hands on your next podcast. Obi Wan Knitter, Talia. Yes. Obi Wan Knitter. Okay, right. We need to. I know. She she ruined the jam in my head. I did. (laughs) Because she's giving me a headache. It's receding and she keeps singing in my ear. This would be singing in your ear. Stop it or I will remove <laughs> the hat. No, and no. everybody would turn to stone. stone. <laughs> <laughs> Is it uh, Uckbeck or Belk Uck or whatever his name is? Ulbeck. Ulbeck. <laughs> Heidi, you will get to that character when you get to the next series. No, series. Oh yeah, she has series. two single books. After. Well, she's, she's doing the Sword of Shannara. Uh, she's doing Sword of Shannara, but then it's... Right, I understand, but is she doing the whole series? That she yes. had the whole series. Uh, Heidi, when you get out of that trilogy, is it three or four? It's, well, you see, Sword of Shinara is three. does not include, Sword of Shinara is just the one book. Right, but the series that we got was how many? It was three. Three. But yeah. it, it so was all the fourth, Sword of Shinara. In the fourth, yeah, when you, when you get through the Sword of Shinara, the um, uh, Elf, Elf Stones, Stones and, and, the Wish and the Wish Song, when you get through that and into the next book, the second book of that series, you'll meet the guy we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, I don't think Indomitable is really necessary. No, you can skip Indomitable. Um, we give you permission. Yeah, that didn't. You it doesn't really add anything. It doesn't. To no, it really doesn't. Um, actually, I think it confused things more. Yeah, a little bit. So um, it was a short story for mm-hmm. some reason. So, um, I mean, read it if you want to, but yeah. Eh. Um, oh, and I reached that one character that we've both forgotten. Yes. Ca- I just barely reached Ca- Caris Simon or Caris Mon? Yeah. I, I just, to the very second he showed up. Yeah. He's an interesting character. Now I remember him. I even think yeah. I remember what happens to don't him. Don't say anything because I don't remember what happens to uh-huh. him. So. In um, a vague sort of way. Yeah. So, anyway. That was a bit of a... Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there's that. And then I have... Actually, I'm going to show this all as one, so go ahead. I only have one thing, besides the... besides the. Do you want to show the you-know-what together? The what? The half? Oh, yeah, sure, the half. We, as we have been saying on the last two podcasts, <laughs> our birthdays are this month. Mm-hmm. And one of our viewers, this is from um, Patty, who is um, Blondie in Nevada, right? Yes. She sent us these cards. This one, <laughs> I love it. Is this the birthday when you start asking yourself life's big questions? Like, why did I come into this room? I knew a minute ago. <laughs> I absolutely loved it. I don't want to tell you what's in here because it's, it's private, but it's, it's personal. But it's very sweet, and I appreciate the thought immensely to get a, to get a birthday card like that. It's awesome. It's, it's just awesome. Thank you very much, um, Patty. And here's mine from Patty. Hey, she found you, your picture. <laughs> I couldn't raise this. <laughs> try harder. <laughs> I didn't want to try. I think all sympathy for you went out the window. <laughs> um, so it says, "You old, I just can't see it." Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! That's adorable. So it's cute. It's she. It was very thoughtful of her. We got the sweetest little message asking us if it was okay to, to have our our address, and it was very sweet of us. Of so us? Of her? <laughs> I told you. <laughs> ow! <laughs> ow! <laughs> Oh, she put my whittle head. She put my whittle head. Whatever, whatever semblance of thought process I have is now gone. <laughs> I don't need an air raid siren. It sits right next to me. Ouch. Okay, thank you, Patty. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Elbow head. Are you quite finished? No. Oh. You want to uh, show your yarn that you were going to show? Whatever sorry. I, um, I'm still recovering. <laughs> Recover faster. Oh, uh, so. That's the bag I wanted. 
I managed, I took advantage of a coupon I had from Undead Yarn, and then I had received a uh, birthday gift that completely covered my net, my other purchase. So, because we love Heidi's yarn, Undead yeah. Yarn. And I have this in mind for a heathenish purpose. <laughs> Actually, I have all, all these are in mind for heathenish purposes. purposes. Oh, that is so pretty. So this oh, is that's a tree bird. I want to look at that. This is a tree bird. Yeah. My precious. Oh, nice. And this is her werewolf face, too. Yeah, I purposely got werewolf face. Because, Heidi, you had said that this is a little more rustic, which makes it perfect. You see, I don't necessarily see how it's rustic. It's perfect. Well, she said it was um, more of a war card. Yeah. Um, and that's the Shire? This is the Shire. Yeah. So the project that it's going to into will probably have to be named after something hobbity. Now, it looks a little bit different than my Shire in the same base. No, I mean, I, I, I I mean it's obviously hand It's hand a dyed, different, it has it's different, different dialogue. But it's it's the same colors. I mean, it's exactly the same colors. It just looks a little bit shady. You know, sometimes you just get different dialogues and there's different shading. I'm in love with this shade I for think the tree beard. It's uh, almost a teal. I know. I love it. It's beautiful. And it's perfect for the purpose I'm thinking of it for. I believe, I'm going to wait and see how that works up because I've been wanting to get that before I buy it from Heidi because that might look pretty in a shawl. Oh, it's really pretty. Um, and I already have a shawl in this that I made. So I have purposes set aside for this, and I have a third skate of Undead Yarn that I got for Christmas that's going to be combined with these two to make something in mind. Is that all the uh, Undead Yarn? No, one more. Uh, these are the ones that I, I used the coupon for. Okay. Um... And... This one was basically free because I used a gift card. And this oh, is oh, that's Roadkill. Roadkill in her uh, werewolf face. Heidi, is this the gargoyle that you said that you um, made it Roadkill because you did it a little bit differently? That you changed it a little bit inadvertently? I think this might be the gargoyle one. This will be an oopsie. Yes. See, I told you. It's very oopsie-ish. Um... We have to I was Heidi torn hugs. between getting this one and the pinkish one. The grim the grimace? I think it's called the grimace. I like the grimace. That's a pretty colorway. Um, because I thought I would have made a cute oopsie as well, but this is what I ended up going with. Yes. Uh, it'll be interesting. I see toys. It'll be interesting to see if this works out different than mine. It's gonna, because the colors are so... It's got... Yeah, but yeah, it's... I mean, if it, if it is the gargoyle, I want to see how it works up differently. Yeah. Because I have a feeling she did the same kind of process, it's just a little bit different. Yeah, it didn't take it, the color in certain places or whatever. It looks like it's a little more purple. Yeah, it does almost. Mm -hmm. So, it's really pretty, it's and gorgeous. I look forward to using it's it. It's gorgeous. Uh -huh. But yeah, I have to get the darn swap thing off my hook first. How many more do you have? One more, your turn. Okay. I g had a very nice... I, w I think it was Sunday morning. I got up, and I checked my email box. And I had a PM from Atara, who is Jean. And she said, oh, you have been gifted a pattern. And this pattern is absolutely gorgeous. It's called the Sprig of Hope Pattern by Robin West. Weist. Robin Weist? Weist? Robin West? Uh, before E, except after C, or what it makes it sound like. Uh, so I thought it Weist? I think it's Robin Weist. And this is just gorgeous. I... I'm going to have to learn some skills. It does the garter, ta uh, gar garter tab cast on, um, make one, make one right. I think it makes that. Um, it it looks it is absolutely gorgeous. It's going to take me a while. I'm glad she gave it to me at this point. She said the person who is doing this, Robin Weist, um, is going to be donating the proceeds to Autism Speaks for Autism Awareness, and so. She gave me this saying that, you know, it might be nice for the autism awareness that she thought of me for this. And I, thi I think so much of it that I think this is going to be one of our featured patterns for autism mm -hmm. awareness when we get to it. It is a knitted Oh, it's shawl. beautiful. It is absolutely gorgeous. And it's not, I can't, I can't show it to you. Uh, it will be linked so you can go look at it. Link. It is absolutely beautiful. And I can't thank you enough, uh, Jean, for it. It's very, it's very lovely. Thank you very, very much. I might even have the yarn in mind for it, if it's the right uh, weight. And yeah, it is, actually. 
I'm gonna, I think I'm going to use my Miss Babs uh, Trust Me in mm -hmm. the green. And it's a light worsted that you can use for DK Project. So. Yeah, it's cool. So, yeah, and I think I have enough. So thank you very, very much, Jean. That was awesome. I appreciate it. So, Debbie. Uh, Deb Norther. Don't forget to put a tarot down, too. Oh, yeah. And Debbie. Okay. You sent me a PM asking me about my yarn box. Because you... Somehow yours got to you sooner than mine got to me. Mine just got to me yesterday. Uh, this is my first yarn box. I'm quite excited. I will be continuing it. Um, my subscription. So, this is what it looks on top. This person's day is about to get... Let me see. This person's day is about to get a lot better. Mm -hmm. Um... And caution, yarn inside may cause extreme happiness. <laughs> so remove the tape. Obviously, I've already opened this. Otherwise, it would be taking a lot longer. I could not wait. So the first thing you see, well, tell who the one the future, one of the featured designers yes, are. Yes, that's, that's exciting. This yarn box presents our very own Sarah Jane. Sarah Jane. Jane. She's the crochet side of it. So, she's the crochet side of it, and here's her pattern. Very, very pretty. Now, what's really cool about yarn boxes, I ordered the knitted box. I still got both patterns. You just, they all uh, put it in your um, library, whatever, over on yarn box. Um, and I actually really like this girl's um, and she's the other pattern. One. Sarah Jordan. And you get um, a coupon. And this, I might actually have to make this pattern, and you can't really see it very, there we go. Look at that. Um, you get a coupon code when you're in the yard box for these um, two two designers. Yeah, we can't give it to you obviously, but it's um, it's su substantial. Yes, I went and actually picked up a few more of her patterns, and one of her shawls is one that kind of caught my attention. Mm -hmm. It's a very simple shawl, but it has it. It's purposely designed to cover the neck a little bit more. Right. Which. It's awesome because I'm always cold. You ought to talk to Tilly. She found a scarf type of thing that does that. I saw. Um, but And Taya got this one, and I subscribe with money I got for Christmas um, for February. I, do, I don't think I'll be continuing it all the time. I'll probably be doing it on a month-by-month month type of thing. But Their um, stitch of the month is a crochet one. But next month will be knitted. And it's granite stitch. And here down. Next, next month will be a knitted card. They, they alternate, they said. Um, and they provide more than enough for the project. Which is good, because that, that was my concern as a crocheter and a, with a gauge off, is that I wouldn't have enough yarn. Isn't that beautiful? Debbie, this is Feederbrick Farm. What did she get? Uh, oh, I have to check the message. Mm -hmm. She got something that was greenish as well. Greenish bluish, though. Mine has got greens and browns. Very pretty. It's very smushy. And these are my grandma's colors. Mm -hmm. um, severely so. I think she would like that sh that scarf. Your grandma would like anything you made. Um, I'm really tempted to make that scarf for her. Because I like the scarf. And I think that she would look really good in it. And this is so her colors. And I would get the enjoyment of working with this yummy yarn and then giving her the gift. So that's what my thought process is. I want to see Sarah James. Is Sarah James is over here, Mom. Yeah. That's so pretty. So, they, they seem to do very well. Um, this was the Sarah box. Yes, the Sarah box. I think it's the Sarah... Both designs are Sarah. Sarah J box. Yeah. Um... Sarah Jane and Sarah Jordan. Sarah J box. SJ box. SJ, yes. I don't know if... I don't think they got anyone else got a different pattern. Well, they might have. They might have, depending on if they wanted different needle sizes. Yeah. But Ty and I are looking forward to next month because I will be getting a crocheted... a crochet box, and she will be getting a knitted. We both have the same color preferences. Yes. So it'll be interesting to see what we get. Because I didn't put down my favorite colors in my color preferences. I basically said give me anything That's because, what I said too. you know, it can get me stuff for gifts. And I can always change it later if I want to. Mm -hmm. I can, um, I was, I figured 
I can always make stuff for gifts that way. And if something strikes me as a toy, I can use it for a toy. Right. And we, what we did is we said that we didn't like certain color. Yeah. We preferred not to have pink. No pink, please. <laughs> no pink. Sorry, guys. Sorry, Denise. Sorry, Kathy. <laughs> um, <laughs> no pink. No pink in this house. No. Except for Lister Domina. Right. Um, okay. So I did not want to get mainly pink yarn. No, I didn't either. I mean, I'll use it. I'll give it to somebody, but I don't care for it. Unless it's kind of a dusty rose kind of thing, but I don't really consider mm -hmm. that pink. Um, do you have autobiography? How many? Just go ahead and talk about your writing. Okay, I did almost 2,000 words. One word short of 2,000 words to share a story. I am now to the point where I have to do completely original material, and then I can get it to Talia. I probably will not get it to her until the first week of February at least, because she's doing her um, swap. that swap thing, and I don't want to rush if she's not going to be able to look at it until she's finished with it. So, um, but yeah, I did almost 2,000 words. Well, you can make it absolutely perfect. Ha, ha, ha. I, I expect a work of art. You can expect whatever you want. <laughs> a veritable Mona Lisa. I don't do Mona Lisa. She's, she scares me. <laughs> so <laughs> That smile of her scares me. She knows, like, she... You'll hang her in the bathroom? Yeah, no, I don't want to hang her in the bathroom. That'd be freaky. <laughs> um... But anyway, um, no, I, the, I like the Mona Lisa. But um, I did two thousand, almost 2,000 words to share a story. I have not really done any free writes or anything like that. It's been very hard for me to carve out any time. Um, my husband was home not feeling well this past weekend and people working and just, it was crazy kind of this week. So I didn't do much writing-wise except for that. Um, and then the sort of Shannara series, the yeah. um, and we talked a little bit about that. Yeah. Ron Heritage is Shannara. Yeah, I am. I think I'm pretty close to done um, I'm with not, the book you're on. With the book I'm on, I'm not sure. I, I, I don't remember the ending, uh, what happens after a certain point. So I, I'm fairly far into the book. I'm not sure how far, but I, I'm getting toward the end. I think. Yeah. Um, I'm getting close to being in that uh, um, an old elk area. Old elk, yeah. Um, like I said, I just met the one character that we've both forgotten about. Right. Because he was a complete surprise to me. I didn't remember him at all. Um, once he comes in, I'm like, oh, yeah, mm -hmm. I remember him. Mm -hmm. I don't remember what happens, though, so don't tell me, because I really don't remember what happens to him. I remember who he is now and what he does, but I didn't remember him until I met him again and he started doing things. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so he's a little odd, but... Uh, yes, he is. Um, I have... I told you about the superhero versus villain swap and the nerdy swaps group. Um, I part of what's been eating up some of my knitting crocheting time, besides just having difficulty staying awake, because um, I've accumulated quite the sleep debt. Uh, she slept ten hours yesterday. It was not ten hours. It was ten hours. It's more like six, ten nine hours. and a half. Ten hours. She slept ten hours. I have quite the sleep debt. Mm -hmm. I actually felt rested for once yes, in my life. she slept ten hours. It was it was fine. She slept ten hours, though. She, she, for some reason, she feels guilty about it. She keeps trying to correct me. Ten hours. I don't comment on how much everyone else sleeps. You made the comment. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Something wrong with you. Um, so, besides uh, sleep issues, um, comic books have been taking up my time. They're, it's a good way to keep myself awake, but also means I don't get other stuff done. Um, I think I've read through most of the ones I've picked up recently, though, so that should be dying off. Um, I'm reading Green Lantern still. The old one. I have to get into yours still. Yeah. Um, the one I sent you is really good. I enjoyed that one. The one I'm reading with all the confusing stuff is getting better. I'm, mm -hmm. I think I'm getting toward the end of it. I think sometimes with some of the comments you're thrown right into the midst. Mm -hmm. um, Immediate ray. So you don't necessarily know what's going on before, mm -hmm. what's gone on after. So you can, it can be a little confusing. Mm -hmm. This one starts you right at the beginning of how is a Green Lantern. So right. I think that one might be a little easier because there's nothing else to reference right. to. You're following his journey. Yeah. Well, this is, you know, I'll, I'll get to that one. I just, I didn't want to stop and start it again, because then it would really be confusing to do again. So. Right. Um, sure. And the other question I have is, all of you all who have um, blogs, knitting blogs, or shame blogs, whatever blogs, are you having issues with spam bots? I'm having a lot of spam bots um, commenting. I usually delete really? them. Yeah. 
I delete them, but where on on the uh, WordPress? Or? Yeah, on the WordPress. But what about Blogspotter? I don't have a Blogspotter. Okay, uh, maybe it's just WordPress. Because I don't like the, the way Blogspotter works. I I deleted the Blogspotter one because it's just not very user friendly. Well, I don't know. I find it fine. I, it I have I'm a, you know, my writing and it wasn't user friendly for the videos. Right, and right. You have to and I have to have something that's good for videos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, for us. I like the way WordPress works. I'm just really annoyed with the spam bots. I can't figure they've out how to make them go away. They've changed the blog spot so the videos are easier again. Yeah, the I one that's hard is Comcast. I don't need another website. But, uh, um, not when I've got everything set up for this one. Mm -hmm. So I like the the look of ours. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, so yeah, if anyone else has had issues with spam bots and knows how to fix it, that'd be great. There's, I mean, they aren't hurting anything. They're just annoying. Um, they're just putting... They're like, they're not even smart about the way they put up ads. They don't necessarily say what they're making an ad for. It's like they started as... They, they post halfway into their conversation. It's just like, I'm not sure what you're trying to advertise, but you're not doing a really good job of it even. Yeah. And you might have to um, do some... Daddy might know something about... Um, my husband's a programmer, so he might know something about uh, getting rid of spam, rid of spam yeah. bots. But, alrighty, that's all for me. Okay, um, we want to thank everybody who has come to spend time with us, and we want to thank everyone who has donated uh, prizes. Uh, we already thanked um, the people who, at the top of the uh, podcast, who donated for the sweater along, but we do want to continue to thank both Bella Sox and Mary, Maria Willamena, Maria Marriott. Wilhelmina, who is Marriott, uh, Bella Sox, who is uh, Eileen, for their ongoing donation. Mm -hmm. And we had um, several comments on the last two episodes. Crochet Knits, uh, Elvin Knits, Elvin, Elvin's Knits, who used to be uh, Elvanescence Knits, right. or whatever. Uh, Sissy Knitting and Crochet, uh, and um, Mowry. Mowry Knits and Knitty Girl One, who is, of course, Heidi. I want to thank all of you for uh, your comments on, oh, and Lena, I forgot about Lena, um, for your comments on uh, YouTube. Mm -hmm. I, I have not been able to see uh, if anyone commented on iTunes or WordPress, and I don't know how to access, somebody said there's, um, I think it was um, Emily from Fibertown who said, Tinnafools, who said that there's a way to do um, European uh Comments. I don't know how to do that. So if you're in the uh, in Europe, they shouldn't have an issue commenting anywhere. No, else. no. Apparently, there's a, actually a European way of doing, yeah, like a, a, a certain part of the iTunes or YouTube. I don't know which one it was. That is European. Emily had mentioned it, and I may have misunderstood her. She can correct me if I'm wrong. But she had had a hard time accessing that and figured out how to do it. So I don't know if any of you are accessing um, or commenting from Europe somewhere that we don't know where it is. It's just because we don't know where it is that we haven't seen it. So we don't mean to ignore you. Um, we thank you if you are doing that. Thank you for reviews if you're giving them to us. We appreciate it because that bumps us up a little bit. Yeah, we don't... I, I haven't actually looked on iTunes in a long time. So mm -hmm. recently, if I've been on iTunes, it's to listen to music and that's about it. I watch most of my podcasts on YouTube now. Yeah, I still do mine on iTunes, but um, it's... Uh, right now I'm splitting between iTunes and YouTube, which is kind of hard, but that's where I'm at right now. So, all right. Well, I think it's about time we yeah. close this. So we want because this is going to be a little bit on the long end because there's going to be tutorials slapped on the end. Okay. So we want to wish you all a very happy and blessed week. If you're on the East Coast, stay warm and safe with the snowstorms. Um, enjoy your knitting, crocheting, and anything else that makes you happy. This is Pen Hook and Needles episode 139, mm -hmm. and that's a wrap. Hi, um, this is a special segment of Pen Hook and Needles that we haven't tried before. Um, this is Talia. Um, also known as Franciscan Gypsy on Ravelry and everywhere else. Mom is next to me and you'll be seeing um, her hands in a second. Um, this is for, well, anyone who's interested, but particularly for Denise of the Knitting Den podcast. She was asking how people held their crochet hooks and how they uh, hold tension with their yarn. And this is getting in my way. There we go. 
Um, this is a work in progress. This is the first time we've ever done anything like this. So, um, with crochet, you hold your yarn in the opposite hand of your dominant hand. Um, I crochet with my right hand. So, I hold my hook in my right hand and I wrap my yarn around my uh, le I, I have it sort of looped hold on let me there I have it sort of looped around my pinky finger and then I tension it with my um, pointer finger like so and I just I keep going too high there we go. Um, so that's how I hold my yarn, like so. And I do the same thing for my knitting, actually. In this case, I'm doing a half double, cr no, I'm doing a uh, double crochet post stitch, back post stitch. But um, so I'll, I yarn over like so, and I go in from behind the post. And I'll probably show you a real stitch later. Mom's will be a little easier to show, but. So the, I hold the crochet hook much like I do a knitting needle, and I tension the yarn much like I do when I'm knitting. I used to hold my crochet hook and my yarn differently when I was primarily a crocheter. I find that this method is a little easier for me. And as for tensioning, I just retension when I feel like it's getting loose. I think, Denise, you were mentioning that if the way you were doing it felt like it was too tight. I think uh, always when you get started, it's a bit tight, and then as you get comfortable, you loosen up. There we go. So, let me do it one more time slow. So, if I can do it slow. There. And then. In like so. And then like so. Okay, I'm going to pause this and hopefully get a better view when I show you moms. Okay, I think I'm here. Okay. Yes, you're here. Um, I'm Li uh, Marlisha, also known as Lady Fernico, and I do things slightly different than Talia does. I hold my, I am right-handed, so I hold my hook in my right hand, but I hold it in a pencil grip. Talia tends to hold it. I hold mine, hold on. In like a, like you hold a knitting needle, like um, handlebars. And I hold it more like a pencil. Okay. Um, Hers is actually the method that historically they encouraged women to do because it's more delicate looking. I do my tension similar to Talia, but not exactly the same. If you can see my f my hand yeah, here, here, you see my hand. It's oh, you tension the way you tension is the way I tension is a little bit. I have a loop, and this is courtesy of I believe both my knitting and. Dan and Kay. Oh, when did you start doing that? Because you used to always just hold it. Um, Cause when my it's from the way that you used to do it. I'm not even sure I can do it that way anymore. Because the way she used to do it, hold on. Um, you're going to be shaking a little bit. I hope nobody gets seasick. Um, sorry, guys. The way you used to do it, and I think this, I'm not even sure if I can do it the way. I think you used to do it like that. You used to like hold the yarn. Yeah, I used to hold it, but not like that, quite like that. I can't do what you used to do. Okay, guys, you're gonna move again. I um. Whoa. Okay, so I hold it, and I and I also okay, tension you, over, you, tension over my, my uh, you can pointing actually just finger. Hold it like you normally do, because I have it. Okay. So all you do is hold. Now it. I'm gonna do a uh, half double crochet because that's what I'm working on in this blanket. So I will do a yarn over, into the stitch, another yarn over pull it through a yarn over and through all three stitches. We do a lot Kay. more similarly than I realized now, we do. Now, uh, if, I, if I were to do, again, it's a yarn over through the stitch, yarn over again, and then, you know, it might be easier for someone who, who doesn't uh, crochet all the time to see a single crochet. In that case, I would take, and, and, I, and I hold my, my, my hook fairly close to the, uh, to the actual hook itself. Some people hold it higher. I find it fiddly that way. I think I hold mine very close too. So uh, for the single crochet I would just put it through the through the stitch, 
yarn over, pull it up, yarn over one more time, and then pull it through, and that would be your single crochet. So you actually, I'm, what? I'm, I'm curious, because it looks like you might have intention similarly than I do. I I'm do. Gonna, I do. Hold on. Because I always thought you did it differently. Yes, we did not plan this. Oh, you do. Except I think I come through the front. And I also and you it, come I hook it more through here, too. Okay, so I'm going to show you the difference. Okay. Just get um, I tension. Here's the back, what it looks like. And when I tension, it's then like that. When Mom tensions, you see, see hers is more like that. Hers is more of a... Okay, let your hand go the other way. So... It's it's very interesting. It's a little different, she, and like I said, she used to hold her yarn almost like she holds her hook. Um, but I started cramping in my fingers. But her fingers started that, cramping. So. so, and the tensioning, you just kind of like Talia said, if I feel it loosening, I will tighten up the tension. And it's not unusual for newer crocheters, just like newer knitters, to be tight. Tight. It'll loosen up when you get used to it. And that's just discomfort. Okay, so I'm going to come back around. And you're going to get to see our faces. Wow, and that's scary. Thank you very much, guys. Um, the podcast will be starting shortly, and this will either be its own segment or be at the end. At the very end, um, that'll be decided in the edits. Okay, I'm gonna go get my tea. Me too. And um, then we will begin. Bye. Bye.